I'm sorry, Tommy. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. Engage all defenses. And get this man a shield. Maybe you're somebody who's new to Marvel and you are excited for Avengers Endgame and you want to know what two movies out of all the 21 you should be watching from the MCU to get you pumped for the game. We're going to talk about it right now and what the Russo says you should watch. But first, I got to put on my plus seven glasses of Marvel sexy as hell because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you guys a more informed YouTube experience. Definitely something better to look at. Please subscribe to this channel. Click my notification bell so when we drop videos, you get them. Also, if you're an inspiring YouTuber or you're a current YouTuber and you get tired of doing all that video editing and uploading and tagging and optimization and all that stuff, let Team Life Games handle it for you. Check the video description. The Russo brothers went on record to say there are two movies you should watch to get you prepared for Endgame. Civil War and Infinity War without question, right? Uh, because I think all the, the, the events of Civil War directly affected Infinity War, and the re we would argue that the reason that they lost to Thanos is because of Civil War. Uh, and then clearly that carries over to um, uh, uh, Endgame. If you're gonna add one more in there, I'd probably say Winter Soldier. The movie event of a lifetime yes i said it damn it this is gonna be the movie event of a lifetime we're about three weeks away and i cannot wait for it number one captain america civil war man i might have to do me a marvel top five of the 21 movies list that movie was groundbreaking that's when we first saw the black panther arrive in the marvel scene and he had a big hit. We saw Spider-Man jump into the MCU. He had a big hit. We saw Ant-Man go big. We saw Ant-Man go small. We saw them really take Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, a character that in the beginning when they first dropped him into Captain America, I was just like, we got to see this. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Marvel. But more important, what Captain America Civil War do for you, it further highlights the tension and the dynamic between Iron Man Tony Stark and Captain America Steve Rogers. Because for the most part, we can legitimately say they are the captains of the Avengers. And when the, the courts came and it split them apart where, you know, Iron Man wanted to be down with the government to control them. Captain America, he's Mr. Captain America. He's all about freedom. He was like, hell to the naw. Y'all ain't taking my freedom to be a hero. That tore the group apart to some degree. And that dynamic is going to be going on in Endgame because they got ripped apart with that movie and they haven't seen each other since and they're going to mend those fences come back together, you definitely want to see Civil War for the emotional attachment it's going to give you to these Avenger leaders. The second movie, of course, the one that came out last year, the fourth highest grossing movie in movie history was Avengers Infinity War. If you haven't seen any of the Marvel movies, you've got to see those two. And Infinity War was a groundbreaking classic. I predicted that that movie would make $2 billion. I also predicted it would crack the top five most lucrative movies to ever do it. I'm also now predicting that Endgame will be one or two highest grossing movies ever. I'm predicting in the first weekend that Avengers Endgame will make $290 million. Why should you see Avengers Infinity War? It sets the narrative for everything that is about to happen. One of the first movies where you actually see the villain win to end the movie is Avengers Infinity War. You get to see Thanos. You get to see his Black Order. And his Black Order, they was bad as hell. Now, I mean, they had some great people in that Black Order. You get to see all that in a movie 
that's going to leave you feeling fulfilled at the end, but it's all going to also leave you with a lot of questions because you just want to know. Thanos has the gauntlet. He snapped his finger. Half of the population is going, what the hell can the rest of the Avengers do to fix this, to remedy this, remedy this issue? Well, you are about to find out. So if you haven't seen any movies in the MCU and you want to see Endgame, for my non-comic book lovers out there, go back over the next two weeks before Endgame comes out and watch Captain America Civil War and watch Avengers Infinity War. And you will be prepared to geek out with the rest of us Marvel loving nerds that's gonna be in that movie having nerd gasms. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe because y'all know I'm trying to get up with Marvel, right? So I need y'all to subscribe, I need y'all to comment and share, post me anywhere you got Marvel stuff, because I'm trying to get up with them, man. Hey, I might want me a roll in something. I don't care if I'm just handing out donuts. I'm trying to get with you, Marvel. I'm your biggest fan. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.